The benefit of machinery like yours is that you can much more easily produce extracts that have representative microorganisms from all of the different species. We asked the Soil Food Web to design and conduct a study evaluating the effectiveness of the Hawassi Products Bioextractor at extracting biology from compost. This is a uh, biocomplete compost that we got shipped up from uh, a couple of friends of ours who make compost. Um, this has been kept in about a 70 degree room temperature um, workshop and uh, we went ahead and uh, measured it for biology um, initially and over the course of the experiment to make sure that there wasn't too much of a variance in the soil or in the compost ecology there. They ran 10 pound batches of compost through the bioextractor at five different auger speeds and extracted a batch of compost using the brewer method as a control. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, start it at auger speed two. We're also gonna start our stopwatch at the same time. So we can go ahead and get a time for calibration. So the things that we're going to be sampling are both the extract and the waste material. So here comes the spent compost out of this chute here. I'm going to go ahead and take a biological sample of this to see what's left on the used compost. And then the other uh, portion is we're going to take a sample, three samples of the extract. And then we'll go ahead and go give those the proper dilutions and check them out under the microscope. Using the soil food web microscopy method, they determined the concentration of microorganisms in the different extracts. Into the microscope we go. Love to find something moving in here. Hello, guys. They also evaluated the concentration of microorganisms in the input compost and compared it to the spent compost to calculate expected extract efficiency. They compared expected concentration to the actual extract concentration to evaluate the extractor's ability to extract viable microorganisms. Here are a few key findings. What we found uh, in the study is um, that at different auger speeds, you're actually able to achieve different levels of efficiency of your extract, as well as different levels of concentration with that extract, depending on the speed of the auger. It's kind of a versatile system in which you can uh, sort of pick and choose what you really want to do um, as far as your extract quality. Depending on the auger speed, the bioextractor is as efficient or more efficient than the brewer method. Lower auger speeds are more efficient at extracting biology, but higher speeds yield more concentrated extract, so the optimal speed depends on intended application. Extract from the bioextractor contained more biology than was predicted by analyzing the compost before and after extraction, sometimes resulting in experimental efficiency of over 100%. Some of our results are actually achieved over 100% um, extract efficiency um, of organisms. We hypothesize that this is likely because um, the extractor actually is able to um, pressure the organisms out of the compost uh, more effectively than the method in which we are shaking the test tubes, then using that to assess um, with microscopy. Getting as the maximum of all the microorganisms that you possibly can and then being able to apply it out uh, without having to wait overnight or wait for you know, third, the third day that now you can use your compost extract because we finally got enough of it pulled out. I think it really pays using uh, systems like yours. I could reduce my uh, cost um, every single year.